What's going on guys? Just getting here to RCG. It's a Sunday and it's pouring, but it's at a double tree by Hilton today. So a hotel, nothing new, but one, two, $200 buying. Let's get into it. First hand of the night, we're in under the gun. We looked down at Pocky Queens. It's straddled from the button straight across. I'm gonna go ahead and open the 15. It's gonna fold around to the button and he makes the call. So going heads up to a flop of Jack Jack of three with two hearts, a rather safe board. So I'm gonna go ahead and see bet. I make it 10. Honestly, could just go 15, but we want him to stick around with most hands, and he calls. Now we go to the turn, which is another safe card, the three of clubs, with two flush draws on board. I'm going to go ahead up and size up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and bet 25. And with this bet, he's going to go ahead and flip in the call. Now going to the river is the five of hearts. The front door flush gets there. Uh, I think I could just be value betting on this river and then folding to a raise, but I check. He pretty quickly checks back and we take it down. So, not sure what types of hand he had. Probably ace high. In this next hand, we have ace eight offsuit in the small line. Probably should just be folding or raising this hand, but I'm going to go ahead and flip in the call. When the flop comes, ace ten deuce with two spades. I'm going to go ahead and check it and action checks through. Now we see the turn. Which is the eight of spades, so a great card. Gives us two pair. I cannot have it checked through. I'm gonna go ahead and bet seven into like ten bucks. So pretty standard so far. And when the big blind accidentally puts in too many chips, the dealer is gonna make that a raise. So when it's folded back around to me, I don't want to see any more spades. I think that's what my opponent has. Single spade. So I'm going to go ahead and 3-bet it up to $40, and he pretty quickly folds. So, not getting much action when we do make hands, but can't complain about a pot, and we take it down. Yet again, Ace-8 offsuit. It's open from the cutoff to 12. The button and the small button both call, so I'm going to go ahead and make the call with an Ace. Probably should just be folding again. These, these offsuit Aces are never good but when the flop comes deuce jack three with two spades i have the ace of spades and when action checks through on the flop and the turn is the six of spades i think i want to go with a bluff having the nut flush blocker when the small blind leads for 15 i think i want to float and if i see a brick on the river i'm gonna bluff so i make the call cut off and button make the fold so we're going heads up to the river. When it comes to nine of diamonds and the small blind leads for 25, he could be doing this with a variety of hands, two pairs, straights, maybe a baby flush. When he bets 25, I want to put the pressure on. And after debating for a little bit, thinking of a sizing that I would do with the nut flush, I go with 80 and he pretty quickly snaps. So. This bluff attempt didn't work, but when we have it, we'll get paid. So he loses this one, and he shows king five of spades. So nice hand, sir. We lose this one. In the next hand of the night, we're on the button with pocket tens. This is actually one of the more interesting hands that I played today. The action is open to 12 from under the gun. Then it's immediately called from the middle position. And then it gets to the middle position one through three bets right there, straight across the 35. I'm not sure if I should be coming in for the 4-bet with about like two, 225 behind. I just call the 3-bet. Hoping to set mine. I honestly should be 4-betting and not allowing those other players to come in, but small button and big button fold under the gun and middle position both call. So we're still going four ways. And hoping to not see any over cards, but obviously that's not going to happen when there's four opponents in the hand. And we see deuce four jack two spades when the initial opener checks 
middle position, decides to move all in. This is just never bluffing to three opponents, and when the initial eraser gets out of the way, you probably had ace king or ace queen, two overs. Ah, <sighs> just such a stupid spot I got myself into, and should have just been four betting than folding to a shove, I guess. But let me know if I should be four betting with tens. And I'm gonna go ahead and make the fold. We lose this one. So give me feedback if I should be four betting, just calling, whatever. Always interesting spots with tens. In this next hand, there's a straddle from the button. We have king queen off in middle position. The big blind calls five, under the gun one. Under the gun calls five, under the gun one raises to 20. With king queen off, I'm going to go ahead and make the call. Could be three betting. But with not much behind in a straddle pot, I don't want to three bet and then get shoved and have to fold. So I call. And the straddler does as well. The two limpers make the fold. So we're going three ways to a flop. In between two opponents, we see a nice flop. Deuce 10 queen. We flop top pair, decent kicker. When the initial aggressor checks this car, checks this swap, I'm gonna get tricky and check. Probably could just be betting standardly, but the button checks back. Now we're going three ways to the turn, which is the four diamonds. Pretty safe card. When the initial opener checks again, I have to be going for a bet. I'm gonna make it 30. With this bet, Button's going to go ahead and get out of the way, and the initial aggressor folds as well. So, we did have the best hand, and we take it down yet, yet again. In this next hand, yet again, another straddle from the button. Small line calls. I raise it up to 25 with pocket eights in under the gun. When it's folded back around to the straddler, he's counting his chips out. He decides his hand is good enough. He moves all in. Small blind pretty quickly gets out of the way, so we're going to go heads up. We decide to run it once, and here's the run out. I'm a pair. In this next hand, once again, a straddle pot from the button. I have queen jack off. When it's folded to me, I'm going to go ahead and make it $15. When it's folded back to the straddle, he's the only caller. So we're going heads up to a flop. Once again, a nice flop. Deuce jack four with two hearts. We have top pair, decent kicker. I'm going to go ahead and see bet. Standard play. I bet 15. And he makes the call. So going to the turn, which is another safe card. The five of clubs. I want to give him some rope to either bet a worse hand or catch up. So when I check, he checks back. Now the river comes, the queen of diamonds, so gives us top two. Not sure what types of hands I'm targeting. Maybe those middling pocket pairs. I think I just have ace, ace king and whiff the flop. So sevens, eights, nines, tens. I bet 25. Interestingly enough, he now raises to 75. Not sure if a 3-bet on the river would be the smartest play, as he could easily have a set or a straight. So I'm going to play it safe, and I pretty quickly make the call, and we are good versus ace-queen. So luckily we let him catch up, and we take the pot. In this next hand, I have ace-queen offsuit on the button. It's limp by one and the cutoff, so I'm going to go ahead and make it 15. And the big blind and the cutoff both call. So we go three ways to a flop of ace, seven, deuce, rainbow. When it's checked to me, sometimes I'd be checking this back in a heads up pot, but multi-way cannot be getting tricky. I'm going to go ahead and bet 15. And just the cutoff calls. So the turn is the ten of diamonds. When he checks, I'm going to get a little tricky, and I'm going to check back. Now in the river is the 8. Not many hands I'm scared of at this point. When he checks for the third time, I'm going to go ahead and bet. I'm going to value bet for $20. I think I should have been going bigger, 30 maybe an over bet. But when I make the bet, 
he snaps and we take it down. session we're in for two out for 560 so a nice little profit didn't get too many hands like really no premiums i mean ace queen queens i kept getting queens and jacks and raising and everyone folded so i guess that's better than just getting coolered but um that pocket tens hand i think should be a four bet but that's the problem with buying in 200 dollars deep or 100 big blinds is there's not much playability until I do start winning pots. So mm, I might have to start buying it for three. I mean, that's the max here at RCG. I wish it was a bigger max so then I could win more pots. But I don't know, let's, let's buy in deep next time. Not deep, but so I could play to my max capabilities. But other than that, let me know on any spots and we'll always take a profit. All right, thanks for watching. Peace. You already know we had to get that post poker session meal at Pop Belly. Got that grilled chicken and a cookie. Let's go. Thanks for watching.